a lot of my novels are about Manhattan, and I looked around my neighborhood where I live in Manhattan, and I realized I didn't know anyone. All my friends had been priced out a long time ago. So I said, who are these people? Who's left? Who's left? So I started talking to them and realized everyone worked for a hedge fund or private equity, or if they were really poor, an investment bank. Uh, so <laughs> I said, all right, I'm going to be your friend now, you know. And you spent four years. Four years. Hanging out with these people on their private jets, partying with them, drinking a lot. Oh, my God, the drinking. I thought they were supposed to be healthy, but <laughs> there were nights where I'd come home 5 in the morning and my wife had to unbutton my, <laughs> my shirt for me. and My fingers wouldn't work. What was the biggest surprise in that four years of being embedded with hedge funds that, that we might not know? Well, I, I mean, one thing I was very surprised at is how I became real friends with them. Um, they reminded me, I went to Stuyvesant High School, which is a math and science nerd school in Manhattan, and there we were obsessed about our GPA, I still remember mine, 88.694, and these guys were as obsessed about their, you know, the basis points and their Bloomberg monitors, so for me it felt almost like a complete continuation of that. All the, the alphas in high school had gone on to run hedge funds. Now this story, the story in this book traces a lot of what, what is kind of a parallel to Valiant. This guy has a big hedge fund. He invested <laughs> in a company called Value Pro, which is like Valiant, uh, loses you know. everything. Who is the main character Barry Cohen based on? <laughs> uh, where's my legal team? Um, <laughs> It's, you know, I put characters, I always do this, I take a bunch of influences, I put them in a meat grinder and, you know, we chop it all down. Um, I would say that there are obviously influences of, of Valiant, but also someone like Shkreli uh, pops up. Anyone who wants to make a really quick buck without... And you spent a lot of time maybe separately uh, with Mike Novogratz. Yeah. Um, but that was after you had done the book race, so he's not. He's not, although, I, I you know, uh, uh, Barry went to Princeton. Uh, he's, uh, Novogratz is a huge Princeton booster. I actually like Novogratz. Novogratz is not a schmuck. Right. Uh, that was my big takeaway. He's actually a... That's high uh, praise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? really? Uh, that should be on his next uh, book jacket. That should be his book jacket. Not I a schmuck. Am, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a schmuck. Yeah. All right. Well, in terms of the next sort of area that you would focus in on, what would it be? I mean, Silicon Valley was a topic, right? Hedge funds. What's the next target? <laughs> I think, uh, well, I was born in Russia, um, uh, so I think uh, Russia's current uh, liaison with our own government is something I really want to look into. Uh, I'm not even allowed back, I don't think, but uh, I, I really want to research that because I think that's the future. Is and and, and as you talk to these guys, as an investor, somebody with investable assets, did you learn anything about how to invest better, how to become a better <laughs> investor? Well, after a... Do you invest in hedge funds after this? After a volley of drinks, many people would say to me, look, you know... Um, let me give you some advice. Don't invest with me. Just, just go low-cost index funds all the way. And you'll be all right. That's a good takeaway. That's, that's the one big yeah. takeaway for investment right. that I came away with.